Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys doing today? Well, nice. <laughs> Good. Nice. Yes. Good, good, good. Take the time with the family. <laughs> good, good. That's that's the idea. Enjoy them yes. as much as possible. Yes, uh, thank you. Okay. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Hey, well, you too. You are father? <laughs> Five times. What? A lot of them. Yeah, I got five. I got five kids. Yes. You, you don't have any kids yet, Julio? No, I don't have anyone. H how old are you? 30 years. 30, okay. All right. Manuel, do you have any children? No, I don't have. Okay. All right. So, anyway, so, uh, happy Father's Day anyways. You will be a father in the future, hopefully. Yes, one day. Yeah, <laughs> one day, right. So, and you know, usually the first baby comes when you least expect it, you know, like, you know, he just, he just comes or she just comes and, and that's when the second one, the third one uh, start coming, you know, so, but that's life. Okay, uh, do you guys remember where you were one year ago? Last uh, Father's Day? I don't really remember. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, sometimes people go to restaurants or they prepare something at the house or different things. I remember that I went to Mall San Gabriel with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Does he live near there or do you live near there? No, because we have to miss this place. <laughs> only, only for that. <laughs> oh, okay. Where do you live, Kim? I live in Apopa. Okay. And he lives uh, near you too? Mm, he lives in Cuscatancingo. Okay. In Mol San Gabriel. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's it's kind of odd, you know, like when you said, okay, Mol San Gabriel between Apop and San Jat in Cuscatancingo. All right. It is not, uh, it is not close to no, this it, place. Yeah, it's not. It's a very strange place to, to decide to meet. Yes, yes, but I remember that he, he, he it's it place in Aguro. I don't I don't know. Yeah, how. open. Open. Uh in 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 this month or well i i remember that it had it was new in this moment okay. <laughs> and for that reason we we decided to go okay good good all right nice okay so yes salvadorians you know we celebrate you uh we go to a restaurant, you prepare something at home, you meet in a place, uh, different forms to celebrate. And now for the 2020, it's very, very different because places are not open. Uh, usually people are connecting by conference or mail, so people celebrate in a different form. So anyways, okay, so it's June 17th. Do, do you guys remember what we spoke about yesterday? What did we talk about? Mm -hmm. I don't really remember. Uh, we talked mm -hmm. about adjectives. Adjectives, yes. The differences between adjectives that finish in ED and the ones that finish in ING. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting, interested. Boring, bored. Exciting, exciting. So what is the difference between the ING and the ED in adjectives? Can someone refresh our memories? It's a boring, it's a, it's a, the ED is for a feeling, the other is for a, 
the, the accident. Okay, good. That's a very good, nice, simple definition. ED is to express feelings and ING is to describe uh, something or a situation. Yes. So which one provokes the other? The ING provokes the ED. Good. ING provokes ED. So if I give you a book, your favorite writer, you said, oh my goodness, this book, I know it's interesting. So how do you feel? You feel interested in reading the book. So the book provokes a feeling uh, in the person. So interesting, interested. Yes. Okay, what else did we talk about? <laughs> did we practice that particular part of grammar? Practice with uh, uh, talking about programs and activities and about the feelings we we the center in the right. Center. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you 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 were practicing about how you felt about certain situations. Right. Okay. Are there any questions before you start talking? No. What part of the platform are you guys doing now? The, the part three. I the, I finished my uh, part three. Good. And the, and the middle and the middle exam is I finish it. Okay, good, good. Yeah, the midterm exam. What yes. about the others? Are you finished with unit two, unit four? What part of the platform are you in? I started unit three yesterday. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so do it when you have the chance, when you have the time, just make sure that you don't accumulate any work. Yeah, you need to eat, I think. I okay. Do. All right, good. Yeah, do it nice and, uh, and, and easy and just make sure you get the, the right answers. All right, so um, let's go with the first activity. Let me look for this here. Where's this? So, ha, 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 give me a second, let me prepare this. I thought I had it open, but I didn't. Okay, right here. Let me see this. Uh -huh. Okay, so share screen. Okay, do you see the uh, the questions? Yes. Okay, yes. So, so I will assign you to work in pairs so you guys ask each other these questions and give the answers that you feel are the best. So let's do this here. I will make four groups and here we go. So I will send you the image to the WhatsApp chat. So if you prefer to take the questions from there. Himmler. Can you hear me, Himmler? Yes. 
Veronica, can you hear me? Yes, what happened? You don't assign me. <laughs> no, you were supposed to be with Himmler, but he just left uh, um, the session for some reason. So I will assign you to, to room three. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Because I know you like to speak. <laughs> okay. And that's good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it's processing now. How was your day today? Ah, fine. Because I I be, uh, I traveled to visit my 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 father, mother. You went now to San I'm in Candelaria. Yes. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. When are you coming back? Mm, I don't know. Probably. It's on the Sunday, but maybe the next Sunday. <laughs> okay, good, good. So <laughs> do you, you live in Santa Tecla, right? Yes, in Santa Tecla. A and you live alone? With my sister. Oh. And other friends. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. Only three. <laughs> All right. That's good. So your sister stay in Santa Tecla? Yes. She will... Uh, Traveling to here and on Friday, uh huh, only for the weekend because she now returned to to her job. Oh, so, so she she began working today. This week, uh huh. Yes. Okay, all right. So I don't know why room three doesn't. Uh, react, let me move you to room four, maybe room four. Okay. Let's see. So what do you do when you visit uh, your parents? Uh, maybe stay home because in another, uh, after the quarantine, uh -huh. I only visit to my family, only rest in the house. But okay. now you fine because you can uh, go out to another place. All right. Because it's, it's the, it, it's not the quarant obligatory quarantine, but I try to. Sure. To, to, take care of yourself. To, uh -huh, yes, take care. Right. Okay. Okay, so let me. Oh, him, Himmler. <laughs> oh, there oh. he is. Christopher here. <laughs> uh huh. But it's very strange because your name appears in room four, Veronica. Oh really? Yeah. Yes, but I leave the season because it's nobody in the season, only me. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Sometimes the platform, uh, or maybe the the application of some uh, when when problems. Right, right. Yeah, technological problems. Okay. Yes. Himmler, Sometimes can you... you can see the the uh -huh. the the screens or maybe the video the other persons. Right, right. Yeah, it's some some weird things happen uh, sometimes. Oh yes. Where is Christopher again? <laughs> you know, like, he, he went to room one with Iris. Iris. Oh, really? With Hi, Iris. teacher. Sorry, I feel late. <laughs> okay. Himmler, can you hear me? Oh, it's very strange. So I'll leave you two <laughs> so you, you guys can talk. Okay. All right. No. Uh, but it's a good history, no? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because you know somebody in uh, anywhere and then you can you get family and, and stuff like that yes it's very interesting okay yeah. the, the next one okay okay you read the next the, the, the next one okay are you happy with the way your father raised you what do you think i think this is this is uh, this is good because my father is uh, telling me many advices 
and so for the, for how to how to uh, get the problem or how to resolve the problem in the in the day. In, in my I life. think I think my father raised me right because he is always with me and he always support me, give me. Hello, hello. Uh, in my case, he always told, tell me that <laughs> It's important to to develop a good uh, don't get don't give up. No, deuda. How do you say? Debt. Deuda. Debts. Yes. Debts. Okay. <laughs> I consider that is the best <laughs> advice that they that she told me. <laughs> no, in my case, uh, to hear advice from all people and also to never uh, get up about uh, following and achieving my dreams or my goals. Yes. Okay. It is good. Um, do you think fathers are the same all around the world? Do you think fathers are the same all around? No. <laughs> all, 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 every father is different. There are yeah. uh, good fathers and also there are bad fathers. Yes, because each person is different. <laughs> For that reason, each father is different. And I consider that all, um, each one has a different way to see the life and for that reason they are okay the next one the next one is number number five what's number the five. yes what's the best piece of advice your father has given you the best no no matter what happened just smile and be happy <laughs> and don't give yeah. up Right. Uh, the number six. Do you think father are the same all around the world? Uh, Uh -huh. I didn't get it. I didn't get uh, it. Father, do you think father what? fathers are the same all around the world? It is like there are. Uh, are they, they standard? Are, they are the same, but I think they are different uh, because how do you pronounce culture? Culture. 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 Sorry. <laughs> culture. Culture. Yeah, I get confused a little bit with French. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunate, unfortunately, in some countries, uh, the father in, is like a... I consider that it's the same because the responsibility is so... so no, I don't uh, know. But <laughs> no, it's more difficult being a mother than being a father, I think. Because, uh, well, the mothers are like more lovely and also they sometimes, well, most of the times, they are really, really close to their kids and they know everything about their sons and daughter. And sometimes it's easier uh, for a mother to communicate the, with their uh, kids than a father. Mm. Yes, but 
I consider that the responsibility is, is the same. And ah, okay, the responsibility, yeah. But the both mm, should to create an environment like this. Um, yeah, in my case, I don't know because I'm not a father. Oh, yes. But yes. I think that it's more difficult to be a father because you 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 must to to work a lot of Father's time <laughs> maybe i um, will defend my own position <laughs> <laughs> and i think that is pretty hard to be father because you have to work you have to love and you have to share your time without short tears and you have to be strong all the time but mothers can open her heart for every time happens something but maybe the love of a mother a mother is the greatest in the world you know it because you have a mother like me mm -hmm. that's true Next. <laughs> what do you think is the hardest thing about Your being age. a father? What do you think is the... I, I don't know. I'm not a father. <laughs> do you have brothers, uh, Josue? Yeah, I have one brother and one sister. Okay. He's 16 years old and she's uh, 20 years old. Okay. How old are you? Uh, I am 23 years old. <laughs> 20? So you're the Six. oldest. Yeah, in the, the first the song. Okay. All right. Uh, um, <clears throat> it could be that something difficult. Yes. Okay. The next one. The next one is number nine. Number nine. What, what is the biggest lie you have ever told to your father? Okay. Walter is in the conversation in this moment. Welcome to the conversation, Walter. Can Welcome. you hear us? He is Walter. not alive. Yes. <laughs> so tell me which or hey. what what is the biggest lie you ever you told have <laughs> ever told to your father I don't know because when my father is a is a, is a light is a very get afraid when because my father is very hard it was very very hard to to strict to, Strict. It is very strict with us. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't worry, Walter. Uh, I have lied a lot of times. To my <laughs> <laughs> yes. A lot of times. One of them where I was a friend house. I was with my friend. We were talking and she she was alone in the in her house, but I supposed to be in my mother house. And my father called me, called me, and and he told me, Hey you uh, communicate your mom. And I told him, My mom is in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and and he uh, I will call you back and he told me no I will wait online <laughs> yes <laughs> that was a bit troll but my my friend she has a her cell phone and I call my mom and my cell phone and her cell phone I put them both in loud voice and <laughs> They talk right like this. <laughs> my father was very, very mad. 
<laughs> well, you were very creative. <laughs> yes, in that moment you have to think fast. <laughs> Yeah, that's I funny. We are uh, take a careful of my son because my my younger <laughs> son, my, my younger son is was uh, 24 years, and my older son is uh, 31 years. Okay, so, you could yeah. be my father. <laughs> Thank you for about. <laughs> How old are you, Ricardo? I I, I am uh, 60, 55. 55. Yes, 65. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You are oldest than my father. Oh, ah, yeah. No, no, no. My father almost 60. All right. Yes. yes. You guys finished with the questions? Yeah. yeah. We're working with the last one. Okay. Because I was waiting for Jose. He was out of line. Okay. What about Jose? Um, I can answer the la the last one. What are because the biggest? I, I'm not. I, I'm not a father, so I, I don't know what. what Just imagine. Is the Just biggest. imagine in the future. <laughs> yeah, or or, or look Maybe. at your dad and see what has been the biggest uh, missions for him. I don't know. Maybe the world to be like like you said before. The be a friend. I think that's hard because you don't feel, oh, how do you say that? How do you say confianza? Confidence. Confident. Confidence, uh, trust. Uh -huh. You don't trust to your father to tell the truth. So I think that that's the biggest role to be the friend with your son. Yep. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is very important. I think. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, all the time when we are younger, are all wrong all the time because he we live in our dreams, but they we look them we look them like key, key, dream killer, dreams killer because they always put our feet on the ground. Yeah. And. It is starting to rain. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today I yes. Yeah, no, go ahead. <laughs> Today I visited <laughs> to my grandfather to uh, my grandfather's home. Where? <laughs> he lives close to me here uh -huh. in Apopa. Okay. Yes. And I went to She's home. <laughs> okay. Is it a walking distance? Yes. It's only five mm, passages. <laughs> passages. Okay, passages. Uh -huh. Only five passages and I stay in his home. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yes, it was good. <laughs> All right. I cooked to him. And okay. yes, and I and I ate with him and with my father. All right. What did you cook? I cooked um, costilla. Ribs. <laughs> I don't know. Ribs. Okay. Ribs. I I cooked ribs. Yes. Wow. Delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was delicious. What kind of ribs? Pork or beef? Pork. Pork. Yes, today was pork. <laughs> All right, good. Do you like it? Sure. Uh, pork is not my first option, but I eat pork. Okay. If I visit a house and they offer me pork, I eat it. I don't have any... Mm -hmm inconvenience with it okay yep all right so let's return to the main session okay yes it's true mm -hmm.
Do you think father are the same order of the world? Mm, I don't know, but I try, I can think about the culture influence so much about the, the kind of yeah. father and the what the the, the main uh, how mm. they, they teach you they write in you is influential about the culture, I think. All right, good. Okay, um, are there any questions or comments about the conversation you guys just finished? Mm. No, are all the questions clear? Yes, I think. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let me, um, give me a second. Let me. What happened Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's the name of it? Feelings and gestures. Feelings and gestures. What is a gesture? It's like a sign of what you are feeling. Exactly, yes. It's when you, literally, you use your body to make a movement and that movement represents something. It has a message. Okay, so feelings and gestures. I need a volunteer to read the instructions, please. The introduction. What is okay. the man doing? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I continue. Yeah. What is the man doing in each picture? Match its expression with a picture, then compare with a partner. Okay, good. Uh, Ricardo, can you read the six options, please? Okay, number one, he's, he's biting his nails. Uh huh. He's rolling high eyes. His eyes. His eyes. He's scratching high his hair. He's taping his foot. He's uh, trilling his hair. And he's uh, rightling his nose. Okay, thank you. Okay, are there any questions? Um, with uh, with the meaning of vocabulary there? Maybe read clean. Read clean. Uh, wh which number? Is six. The number six. Oh, wrinkling. Green clean, yeah. Okay, uh, when a person gets older, he or she uh, starts getting wrinkles here. Ahí, mira, bebé. Ahí tenés que hacerlo. They, they start getting wrinkles. So wrinkle is when you go like this. Do you uh, see my... Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions there? Uh, twirling. Twirling. Twirl. Twirling. Twirling. Twirling means to go like in a circle, like in a rotation manner, uh, but lightly. Yes, that is twirling. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, any other questions there? Okay, so. Number four. I'm okay, sorry. tapping his foot. So imagine that this is my foot. I go like this. Mm, okay. That's tapping. Sure. There is a dance that is called tap, I think. Mm -hmm. Huh? In Spain? Yes. Tapping, they make sounds with the feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so when does a person bite his nails or her nails? In the D. We must D. Beating his nails. 
Number D, D is, is letter, D. letter, letter D. Okay, but in, 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 in El Salvador, when does a person bite his nails or her nails? When, uh, when someone is anxious. Anxious? anxious. When nervous. 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 Yes, okay. Now, when do you roll your eyes? When you're thinking about when something thinking. or trying to remind, remind something. When you're anxious. When you are confused. Okay, maybe. maybe. Or bored. Okay, yeah, bored, confused. When you are going to analyze. <laughs> when you're ignoring someone. Yeah, no, when you're ignoring yeah. someone. Yeah. When or you doesn't like something. Yes. <laughs> yeah, or when you don't approve something, right? Like, oh my God, him again or her again. Yep. Okay. When you don't believe something. Right. Right, when you don't believe the version they're giving you, and you know what it, but you're like, oh my God, again. Yep, <laughs> it happens. When do you scratch your head? When do you go like this? When feel shy. Okay, when a person feels shy, it's possible. Someone when you're else? Thinking. Uh -huh. When you're thinking. You, uh huh. Yeah, when, when you're thinking. When you need an answer, right? I'm trying to figure it out what's happening. What is it? When you're trying to figure it out, uh, what's happening? Okay, yeah. When you're trying to figure out what's happening, good. Okay. When you, when you have about something. Itch. Okay. When you have some itch. Yeah, when, when something itches, right. Okay. Um, when do you tap your foot? When feel desperate. Feel impatient. Okay. Um, yeah. Impatient. Okay. That's possible. When you are well, maybe angry when you're following about it. The rhythm of a song. When you are listening trying, song. To, trying right. to follow the rhythm of you a song. Tight. Right, when you're listening to a song and you're trying to follow you know, the rhythm. <laughs> yeah, go, exactly, follow the rhythm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Yeah. All right. Um, Trilling your hair. Mm. Go like this. Oh my God. When do you do it? Maybe when you think that you forgot your suitcase, <laughs> you are outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. I left my keys in the car. <laughs> yeah, something when that you forget the mask. For yeah, right. Outside. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it has happened to me several times that I go to the little tiendita behind my house, <laughs> and and when I come back, I'm like, man, where's my mask? You know, like unconsciously. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And when do you wrinkle your nose? When you smell something. Yeah. You, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. When you smell oh. something weird. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. when you are sick. Yes. When, when you, you have an allergic. Uh huh. <laughs> when your Maybe nose is eating. When you have some flu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, you uh, you do those things, right? Okay. Um, any <laughs> anything else? Any other suggestions about gestures that we use in El Salvador? Mm. When the baby do the some. <laughs> so Maybe cute. when you rise both <laughs> hands. Both when you what? Hands, like when you rise both hands like this. Okay. And what's it the has, meaning of that one? It has a lot of meaning. Know. <laughs> right. What a guy. <laughs> oh, what, what you are. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, so, and there are so bad gestures we, too. We do the time. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Time. Yeah. When you're driving, when you're in the bus, when you're walking, you see people making gestures and, and we know what they mean. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to group um part B. It says use the pictures in part A and these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. So I need a volunteer to read the 10 adjectives that we have there. Somebody, anybody. Okay. Use the picture in part A and this adjective to describe how to the man is feeling. Okay. Annoying. Annoyed. 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 Uh -huh. Confused. Disgusted, mm -hmm. embarrassing, embarrassed, embarrassed, uh -huh. exhausted, uh -huh. frustrated, yes, impatient, uh -huh. irritated, 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 nervous. Okay, good. <laughs> Any questions about the meaning of those ten adjectives? Annoyed, bored, confused, disgusted, embarrassed. No, exhausted. it's all clear. Okay, good, good. So let me uh, move to the next. Um, it's 4.3. You know, I'm using a computer. I'm using my father's computer because He's not here now, but he's got a lot of things here. So the computer just sent me a message that I don't have much battery, but I have, I hope I have enough to finish the session. <laughs> okay, so let me, all right. Okay, let me. The second, can you see, can you see my, okay. 